Hi, this demonstration will show you how to reset the waste ink counter on an Epson inkjet printer. Uh, just to note, the adjustment utility I'm using here isn't standard. Certain things will change here and there, but as a general rule, the process uh, shown is pretty much what you'll see with one or two minor variations. Right, for the purpose of this demonstration, I have a D88 Epson printer, which I'm going to show you how to reset. Now, the first thing you need, obviously, is your adjustment program. Uh, it'll come in a zip form. All you need to do is right click and choose to extract it. Now the first thing you need to read the instructions. I can't stress how important this is. I know guys you'd rather not read a manual but for this you do need to. So if there are instructions provided open them up. I'll drag them in and resize them. But basically, you have a set of instructions. Read them. No arguments, just read them. But just to cover a couple of pertinent points, if you're using Vista, there is a guide on how to set the compatibility mode for that. Likewise, there is a guide on how to set it for Windows 7. If you do this, you'll find that, as a general rule, the utility will then work. Otherwise, you'll come up with some kind of an error code. The other thing to bear in mind is resetting the waste counter on a printer does not make the waste ink disappear. It's very real. The pads have a finite capacity and if you're not careful they will leak. Bottom line is you need to fit a waste tank. Strangely enough, Octo Inkjet does have them. That's why I'm doing this video. But uh, hopefully you'll already have bought one. So anyway, as I said, you need to be running in compatibility mode. Assuming you're doing all of that, we're away. So first thing to do is run the agprog program you will get a general screen come up you just click on accept you then need to select the model you're using now I'm using a d88 but yours may be slightly different so choose that destination will then be set accordingly you then need to choose this option which is basically saying is the case intact or have you taken bits off for purposes of this we just need to say upper housing is installed you rarely get this in later utilities but for this particular one you need to do this so we're now into the adjustment program proper the bit you need is the waste ink pad counter do not under any circumstances use any of the other functions if you do you're on your own right waste ink pad counter you click on OK you now need to read the current value to make sure that it's actually connecting as much as anything else. Usually you get a button which says check and occasionally you'll get tick boxes next to things like platen counter, main pattern counter, TF counter, blah, 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 blah. Basically you tick them all, click on check or read. So we're now going to read. You now get this message to say it's read it. So that's fine, no errors. As you can see here, my printer actually hasn't done a heck of a lot. But for the purposes of this, we'll assume that it's actually done 16,000. So yours would actually read 16,000 points, i.e. the printer thinks it's full. Once we've confirmed it's full, we then click on initialization. It then tells us to turn off the printer, which we will now do. Uh, just assume off camera, that's exactly what I'm doing. That's now turned off. I then click OK. Turn the printer back on. All right. We're now waiting for it to come back on. Now it tells us to reread the waste counter. So we're going to do that just to check it has in fact reset. Okay, click OK. As you can see, the waste ink pan counter is now at zero. So we have successfully reset. To get out of this, you now click on Finish, Previous, and Quit. And that's it.